Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here, and this is how to use Crawdon. Crawdon is a fairly slow but very hard-hitting Pokemon. 120 base attack is going to be pretty good, and then we don't have too much else. That 55 on the speed, fairly low. With a 90 special attack, we might as well be just going with that higher attack. The defense is okay, but the hit points aren't. So we're either going to have to look into a way of making this Pokemon's speed work out by boosting it, or we're just going to have to rely as much as we can on that attack and really try to shut some opponents down. Until we look at its Water Dark typing. A lot of weaknesses, Fighting, Bug, Grass, Electric, and Fairy. It's got a lot of susceptibilities from that Water Dark typing. It does have a good amount of resistances though, but it's not something we're really too concerned with that you can use it to like switch in on something you resist really well and then set up from there. But other than that, Crawdon is mostly just going to be like you bring in as revenge and you try to go for as much high damage as possible. Fortunately, Crawdon can work really well because of Dragon Dance and Adaptability. This is why this Pokemon suddenly becomes really strong. Adaptability makes stab boosts go from 50% to 100%, so it goes from 1.5 times more damage to 2 times more. That means things like Crab Hammer, Knock Off, they're going to have an incredible boost, as well as Aqua Jet, and then Dragon Dance, it's going to boost your speed. So what a lot of people do is, even with Jolly Nature, even on that 55 speed, they try to boost it as much as possible, that we go from 229 at level 100, all the way up to almost 345, so you start to get a decent amount of out speeds from there. And the way you can play it, you know, you still have priority on that Aqua Jet. You're going to be boosting your attack in a good way. And what people like doing is they like saving Crawdon. They you know mid to late game, if a couple of the opponent's sweepers are down, that means you can get a really good opportunity to set up and then just really take out the rest of your opponent's Pokemon. If they have tanks, if they have slower Pokemon, one or two Dragon Dances, and Crawdon is going to crush through them all with that adaptability. Knockoff is really nice for breaking down tanks as well. Going to get the stab boost, well, the adaptability boosted stab boost, going to do bonus damage because almost every Pokemon has an item, and then it's also going to have Dragon Dance, so this can really shut out a lot of opponents, they just don't expect that speedy knockoff sometimes. After that, Aqua Jet cleans up really well, a super effective Aqua Jet could be all you need and it could make up for the priority pretty well, and Crab Hammer is just going to be your destroys everything kind of move. 100 base power but 90 accuracy, I say it's pretty solid even with that 90 accuracy and works out really well. The item you want to use most of the time is going to be Focus Sash. Focus Sash is just really solid. That hit points are full, you're going to survive the attack. Since you are fairly frail, that you know you have a lot of those super effective hits, Dragon Dance, eat up the hit, Focus Sash procs, come in and do work. Now you can also bring Crawdon in on a already weakened Pokemon, even if it could be faster than you. So a Sweeper that's at lower health, then you can pick it off with Aqua Jet after that Dragon Dance setup and really go from there. And then there are some purists out there that are like, you know what, we don't need any of that. We have adaptability, we're going to run Swords Dance, we're going to run Aqua Jet, and then that's all we're going to do. And it can work out really well that you see this in the way of like a Mega Scizor or just a regular Scizor. That you're going to be setting up Swords Dance into a huge priority move, and you're going to be solid from there. That adaptability is going to make it to where Aqua Jet is pretty much just an 80 base power move. Because, you know, if we already take away the stab from that. So now we're going to be having a Pokemon that's using Swords Dance. Thus, boosting over 700 attack at level 100 with the Life Orb, Aqua Jet has a lot of KO potential at this point, so you either use your bulk, set up that Swords Dance, and then you just kind of Aqua Jet one-hit KO until Life Orb burns you down, which can work out really well if you just bring it in on a tanky Pokemon or a Pokemon that doesn't have any super effective hits. You know, a Pokemon knocks you out with a resisted move or just a neutral hit. With that hit point bulk, you're going to have a very good chance of surviving as long as it's not like a super overpowered, already set up Pokemon. Swords Dance, take half your health or so, or they might even switch to try to get some advantage, and then you just Aqua Jet and KO from there, and it can work out really well. So Crawdon, you can run the bulkier, slower Swords Dance setup, or you can just go for Dragon Dance, try to get those out speeds, and then use other moves and make it work out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that's how you use Crawdon.